The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome back to the show. Get the commercial-free podcast, the bonus show video, the bonus show audio, and the archive of shows dating back to 2005 as a David Pakman Show member. davidpakman.com slash membership. And for a few more days, the special at davidpakman.com slash birthday. More primaries. Three wins for Rick Santorum. Minnesota, Santorum 45. Ron Paul in second place with 27%. Missouri. Santorum 55, Romney in second place with 25%, and Colorado Santorum 40, Romney close behind at 35. The delegate count now, Lewis, is Romney 106, Gingrich 38, Santorum 22, and Ron Paul with 20 delegates. Here's something interesting. Donald Trump took credit for Romney's Nevada win. Is he taking credit for these three losses for Mitt Romney, or did Romney simply not lose by as much as he would have if he didn't have that Donald Trump endorsement? That's got to be it. You think that's his line on it? Yeah. Santorum, one could say, is surging from behind Mitt Romney, which, uh, given the, the, the vast uh, overtones about Rick Santorum, may be a statement with multiple meanings. I like that one. That's pretty good. I actually think it, in, in seriousness that the Republican Party is so fractured right now between the religious nutty right, the Tea Party nutty right, <laughs> the moderate Republicans, the libertarians. There's really, we can point out, you know, a lot of people say, oh, the Democratic Party is fractured or the Republic, Re Republican Party is fractured. We can really pick out exactly the way in which the Republican Party is split into so many different directions. And I still don't know how this is going to play in a national election. Early polls are saying Obama is doing well against any of these potential Republican nominees. But those polls really mean nothing right now because they are going to be so tainted by people's opinion of the tone of the Republican race in general. Once there is a Republican nominee, I think that people who are now saying, ah, I might vote for Obama if it's this Republican instead of that one, are going to come back to the Republican Party if that's the way they've been voting historically. Yeah, I mean, clearly, clearly the Republican Party is, uh, is, is fractured. And if the Democratic Party is, I don't think there are too many serious implications there for Obama. No, not right now. I mean, there was this idea in 2008 that there's the, the Obama side and then there was the Hillary Clinton loyalists who are not going to vote for Barack Obama. Are the Hillary Clinton loyalists going to vote for Mitt Romney? I mean, let's, let's be honest. Right. It's not going to be a realistic effect. Uh, the Republican candidates also aren't really the best choices even for, even for the Republican Party. Obviously, from the outside, we're laughing. But even within the Republican Party, these aren't really the best choices. It's kind of like these are the last four items left on the shelf at a convenience store before a hurricane hits. You know, you're going to take them because you've got, you need them. There's right. a hurricane coming. But you know, given the choice, you're not going to be making that, that uh, selection. Good, good analogy, Dave. Do you like that one? It was pretty good. One, one of your better ones, yeah. 